<clears throat> Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the time period of November 1st to November 14, 2021. For those of you who are new to my channel or you're visiting, welcome to Amani's Light Work, okay? So before I begin with your reading, I just want to let you guys know that I started my tarot series on my IG at Amani Ife Triple Seven. If you have questions, comments, or concerns in regard to the series, you can always DM me directly through there. I spend most of my time on there. Okay, so let's see what energies are coming through for you. Um, I remember I did promise that I would would do these uh you know i don't want to leave anybody shorthanded with broad two-month messages and not give you something that would be you know would resonate more with you okay The spirit is giving you an idea of an insurance policy and a Sag or whatever fire sign that you could be dealing with. I also get a Taurus element as well. There's a lot of documentation going between those elements that could be, they may be in your work environment or um, the spirit is also giving me an idea that you know those individuals through a mutual partnership or you just have a mutual partnership with one or or however many of those individuals that I just read off just now. Um, there is a situation going on with information disbursement. Your information may be getting dispersed amongst those individuals or those individuals are helping you to their own information or they're getting someone else's information and they're helping you to it, if that makes any sense. Something is going on with a Taurus female or a Taurus male, and then something's going on with a Sagittarian male and possibly a Sagittarian, Sagittarian male, Sagittarian female, if that makes any sense, okay? But let's see the energies that are coming through. Alright Aquarius, so the card you have underneath is a star. This is your energy that's right here. You could also be dealing with an external Aquarian energy, but you don't have to be, okay? Um, if this is you, I also get this idea of you taking time off. So whatever work you feel like you're doing right now, you may want to take time off. You could have already taken time off, like last week. Um, I'm also getting like the either the end of these two weeks or the end of the first week so maybe around the 7th around the 14th and you possibly may be taking some time off maybe at the end of November going into December or the end of December because that's typically when you know there may be an issue with you trying to get time off so if you have one of those jobs where you need to put in a submission for hours to get time off then something may be conflicting there or you currently have that situation where you need to take time off and something may be conflicting so it's either a supervisor or it's a boss that may be you know there may be a little bit of a headache with giving you some time off if that makes any sense um it was not only that, then uh, I also get the reason for the insurance policy after I read off all of that. Something with an insurance policy that you're involved in or that you have or that you want to create is associated to the job. But I keep getting this idea of conflict or conflicting. You have something going on with an insurance policy and for some reason it conflicts with your job, whatever that means. So I don't know if you're getting the insurance policy through your job or something's going on with the insurance from your job and taking off from work or either working or taking off from work. And something's conflicting about there is. OK, I see what's going on here. You have some type of insurance policy tie or you have some type of insurance from an external job or an external business collaboration or partnership with someone that it is conflicting with your current job, if that makes any sense. If you do have something like that going on, I just get the idea of two conflicting factors. And one of them is and one of them is associated to insurance from a job that you are currently in, and then another one is like 
something's going on with you being in a separate or external partnership from your main job or an old job and something's conflicting about insurance from there or an insurance policy i get someone made for you there's an insurance like some type of insurance policy that somebody made for you or you're trying to get someone to make but i get the feeling that it has a lot to do with protecting your assets and i had a tax return it has to do with a tax return and protecting your Protecting your placement in a tax deal. I get a Sagittarian. You're trying to protect your placement in a tax deal with a Sagittarian energy. Um, it could be a Taurus as well, but it doesn't have to be. But it has a lot to do with protecting like a tax deal. So, for example, say you have insurance in one job, or say you file taxes in one job. Um, something may not be calculated there, or they may not be calculating anything there because you have something going on external so for example hmm i'm trying to make sense of this say for example you have one job and um i think the spirit is trying to help me it has something to do with the insurance from the main job that you're in something's going on with the insurance um Something wrong with the insurance and something that you have going on it could be a business that you run on the side or taxes for a business or a partnership that you have on the side is conflicting with your job okay and the spirit is giving me an idea that the reason it's conflicting is because somebody is investigating or wants to investigate or they're trying to investigate what's going on so I feel like that could be one reason why you need to take off from work or that's the reason why you could be absent from work you may want to have an absence you may want to take a leave of absence but you I get nervous you may be nervous about something and you want to make sure that you can still receive something may not be 100% legal about what's going on on the side if that makes any sense or like a contractor that you could be dealing with like a government contractor, someone that you, like a partnership you have going on inside, an external business you have going on on the side that it may not necessarily be like, you know, it may not be, what do you call it, legitimate, if that makes any sense. So you want to make sure that you can still receive taxes from that, or at least you can still remain a partner in that firm external. But then you also have another job where you feel like the taxes from there may conflict with the taxes you receive from something that is not necessarily, there's no government contract with an external business or a job that you have associated to your main job that is supposed to be contracted or government contracted. So you got some type of tax conflict or like an insurance conflict between those two worlds, if that makes any sense, okay? That's a lot. You got a lot going on there. And that could be why you're taking off from work. The Queen of Swords energy is the painter. Um, they don't have to be a painter. This could be someone that you're dealing with external. Um, I get they're responsible. So this person is responsible. They could be an Aquarian female, a Libra female, or a Gemini energy that's a female. That They're on the starting point, right? They were given some type of documentation. Like you could be responsible for the reason into why they have some, some type of documentation or identification as well okay so they could have misused something this could be someone that is in your workplace environment currently and i get used they either use your documentation or you gave them you could have given this person copies of your doc your documentation or identification and they could have made copies of that if that makes any sense or if you you could be making copies of your own stuff to get to this individual like willingly so you're, for example, saying, you know, say you work with this person and they need help financially for some reason if they're external from you. So what's happening is that they are struggling. This person, if they're external, they're struggling. But something's going on where they need, they need things bought 
or I also get housing. They need housing. Like if you're a female, you can be shown up like this and you need things bought. You need housing. You need, you possibly even need like health insurance. You may need car insurance. You may need these things that, you know, to solidify your well-being, if that makes any sense. Or this person is external and they need the same things, but it's like you can't keep using somebody else's insurance or you can't get on someone's insurance or if they're external they're trying to get on yours or if they're already on it if they are already on it then they can't keep using your documentation or your identification or your insurance card i give you a really per perfect example this is like say you receive like um say you receive ebt like food benefits you may let this person borrow the ebt card if that makes any sense um say they don't have health insurance and they need you to do co-pays for them say they don't have um say Say for some reason they can't get government benefits and I get required documents. They may not be able to get, they may not be eligible for, um, they may not be eligible for benefits like, um, like government benefits, like, um, what do you call that? Some type of financial aid, you know what I mean? Like benefits, like food benefits and things of that nature. If they're unable to get these things, they can't. Like they're trying to use your documentation to get that done. So either you know that they're doing that and or either you know or you don't know that they have that kind of leeway with you, if that makes any sense. They could be a friend, you know, they could be a coworker, a friend, or it's you and you have something like that going on with yourself. And I'm being drawn to the sag. If, it, if you're showing up like this, whether you're a man or a woman, then you're trying to get that kind of help through a Sag element. So whatever fire sign that's coming through there. Okay. Well, a Sag needs that kind of help. This could be you and it's the fire sign energy that's external. They need that help. Or they need to use your documentation to get aid. They need the documentation to get food stamps and insurance. Or they need car insurance help. They need medical. They need whatever it is that they need. But they require yours or you require their information to get it done. The waiting position has the Prince of Cups energy. So the Prince of Cups, the Prince of Cups could be like a friend of yours. All right. They could be, it's a prince. So it could be a child. They could be, the Prince of Cups could be a child to a Queen of Swords energy that's external or they're a friend. This person could be a partner and they need that kind of stuff. And there's a child in the middle of the situation. It isn't whether it's a male or female child, they could be shown Prince of Cups could be shown up like Queen of Swords energy external child, whether it's a boy or a girl. Or the Prince of Cups energy could also be a friend. And I get documentation. They're a friend that you may be using your friend's documentation to help an external Queen of Swords energy. Or you need, or the Prince of Cups energy it requires yours. Prince of Cups energy requires your documentation. Okay, so I see what's going on here. If you're showing up here like a Queen of Swords energy, then the Prince of Cups energy is coming to you and saying to you, okay, I need your, I need your, I need your paperwork. I need your identification. I need your, your. Oh, I need your proof of income so that I can process this for you, right? They want to be able to process things for you. Like if you're, if they're not a child, then they're a friend or they're just responsible for processing your documentation. Then the Queen of Swords energy, right? I get add theirs. The Queen of Swords energy wants you to add theirs to some type of procedure that you have going on directly with the Prince of Cups energy, if that makes any sense. All right. They're not going to be able to do that. So I'm looking at the Prince of Cups and I get this feeling they may not be able to do that for you. Like they will or will not be able to do that for you, if that makes any sense. Okay? Because they're going to see that there's a falsity. I get what a signature. They're going to see that there's some type of interest in falsity with a signature that you're presenting them with. Whatever documentation you're trying to present this person with, they're gonna notice that there's a falsity on it. They're gonna notice that there's, there's two signatures that are not the same on the documentation. Or they're gonna notice that this person 
and they're going to notice that this person, I get a dependent, they're going to notice that this person is, is a dependent on your documentation. So for example, say you're filing taxes with your job, you're trying to get insurance from your job, you're trying to get medical, you're trying to get this, that, and the third. This person, I get willingly put on, they willingly put you on theirs like that, or you willingly put their information, or you willingly put them on your documentation. You willingly did that. One element you willingly did, willingly did it, or you didn't willingly do it. But this person is like, you can't do that. Prince of Cups is like, you know, I get, she needs to file separately. The Prince of Cups energy is trying to tell you, Queen of Swords energy external needs to file separately. If they're showing up there with the Sag woman, the Sag females embodying Queen of Swords, she needs to file separately. She needs to find out a way to file or do this separately. Like they like they're like, you can't do this. You can't do it that way. That's not gonna work. She's gonna get caught. She could potentially like if somebody's doing something about somebody's doing something like that with your documentation and things, whether it's knowing or unknowing, they can get this, they can do some jail time if they're external. Like, they can do jail time. That's why the Prince of Cups energy is in a waiting position trying to, um, they're trying to give you the safe route into dealing with a Queen of Swords. Like, they may understand that, I get burdened. They may understand that, that an external Queen of Swords may be a burden to you. Are you a burden to that person? They, somebody sees that, like Prince of Swords, I mean Prince of Cups energy sees that, or the Queen of Swords energy sees that about you, or you see that about them, or you're expressing that she is like a burden to me, you're expressing that to a Prince of Cups. And what's happening is that someone sees that this person is a dependent on your information, or they see that you are dependent on their information, or you are dependent on if it's not only like dependent as in like claiming somebody vice versa then somebody sees that you are dependent on their things you're depending on them they're depending on you and that's going to cause that's why i was getting all that conflicting element that's going to cause that's going to conflict it with insurance that you receive from a job that you are in they, that's, they could be in a job environment and you're having a conversation with them. How can, can I put my friend on this? You know, can this go, can half of this go to my friend? Can half, half of this go to my woman, my man? Can half of this go to my partner? You know, can I put aside some of this for her? But they're dependent on you. They're a friend that is becoming really dependent on you. Or you're really dependent on that person. You're really dependent on that person, vice versa. They don't understand why you need to do something. So the Prince of Cups in the waiting, they don't get why you need to do something specific here as well. They don't get why, because it has something to do with, somebody is a functional adult that is around you. Like they, they're a functional adult. They could be, a, if you're a dude, they're a girlfriend or something. If you're a female, they're still a friend. They're a sibling. They're another coworker, you know? They know that this individual is functional. So if this person, like if a Prince of Cups energy, if they're not only coming in and they're telling you what you can do better in regards to a Queen of Swords, then it's them. They, they may have been once in a similar situation as you with this person, or they were once in a similar situation with someone else that they're external from. That's with someone else that's external, okay? The present has the two of change, two of pentacles, right? You are balancing your finances, you know, you're balancing, I get a payment to them. You're trying to balance the fact that you may need to pay this individual for something specific, all right? I, I get hiding. It has something to do with hiding, whatever that means. I don't know if they're hiding from you or I get a copy. Someone is hiding a copy of something from you, if that makes any sense. Are you hiding a copy of something from this person? Right? Either you are hiding a copy of something from the Prince of Cups, or Prince of Cups is hiding a copy of something that is yours. They're hiding, somebody's hiding a copy. But I get an extra benefit. So the Two of Pentacles with the Prince of Cups and the Queen of Swords, somebody's hiding 
a copy of a document or paperwork that implies that they receive an extra benefit. So either you're doing that in regards to a Queen of Swords, or you're doing that in connection with what you have going on with the Prince of Cups. Or the Prince of Cups is hiding a copy of some type of documentation that implies they receive an extra benefit from you and a Queen of Swords, or just from you, Two of Pentacles. Right? I get that you don't see that either. So there's this idea that you may not see that happening. Or they don't see that happening. So if you're trying to help a Queen of Swords energy and they're refusing to process something for you, then I do feel like one percentage of you, one percentage of, of this is trying to go through a different route other than you going through this person in order to get some type of benefit for yourself, in order to get some type of benefit for a Queen of Swords energy external. Right? And you get this feeling, you're trying to ask this person, why won't they take the copy? Why won't they take what I'm giving them? If it's money related, right? I get an insurance payment. Something that is going on here is related to an insurance payment that you, you're trying to make. You could be trying to make some type of insurance payment with their documentation or their identification, or their card, or their money, or like a debit card. You're trying to make some type of insurance payment, or you want to make a payment in regards to a Queen of Swords energy external. You want to make a payment for them. Say for example, I'll just give a random example. Say for example, the Queen of Swords energy can't pay their medical bill. They say they can't pay a medical bill, for example. So what's happening is, what's happening with that is that you, what you're doing is, is that you're taking your debit card, you're taking a credit card, and you're going and you're saying, you know, I want to pay this for her because she, you know, she's not, whatever it is. I get this idea of them being well off. Like they could be well off and they're really, they really pulling the wool over your eyes, but they're really well off. Like someone really does have money, you know what I mean? This person has money or they have the will to get something done and they're just refusing to do it. They're just refusing to do it. I don't know if you're refusing to do something specific and you're having this person pay for things. You know what I mean? You could be having a, per this could be you. And you're having, you want somebody to pay off some type of insurance. I get a, a card. You want somebody to pay off. It could be a credit card. Like, I don't see, I don't know what the deal is with, I mean, you don't pay off insurance cards. Or, you, you know, using somebody's, like, you know, EBT. Or using somebody's, like, credit card and things of that nature. Like, I don't know if you're doing that direct. It feels like you could also be doing that directly to this person. Or this person is doing that directly to you if they're external. Right? You do work with them if they're not a family member, a friend, or a partner of some kind. You work with this individual and they're just trying to use your things to get something paid off, but they're a well to do person, or you're a well to do person. Two of Pentacles. Paying off insurance, paying off someone else's insurance, paying off credit cards, but using somebody's other, using somebody else's information to pay off a credit card, or funds to pay off a card. They don't understand. And then it's them that they're they're holding back some type of copy of an extra benefit. They're holding back a copy of an extra benefit could be that they know why you need it and they know that you want to give it to this person. Or you're going to use part of it. It could be money related to a pentacles. It could be money, some type of um some type of <sighs> some type of money that you could possibly get deposited to you. They know you're going to use on this person. So then two of pentacles with them. They don't want to give you. I also get the time sheet. They don't want to give you some type of time sheet. Someone doesn't want to give you a time sheet. Or like you know you go to work. And you clock in and out. Like a time sheet. Or they don't want to give you a copy of a time sheet. So you, you either were or were not marking your hours. And someone, um, I also get cutting back pay. Someone could be cutting back your pay. They don't want you to see the amount of hours that you actually, they don't want you to see or keep a mental calculation of the amount of hours that you did work. 
So what's happening is that you there's a percentage of the pay that you make. There's a that's why the Two of Pentacles is in the present. There's a percentage of pay that you could be receiving, but like somebody's trying to cut back on the hours. Like for some reason you don't notice that, or you're going to notice it. That's why I said they they're like a, they could be a higher up to you, the Prince of Cups. You know they could be a higher up. They don't want to give you a copy of something. They don't want to give you a copy of your time sheet or you need you may need to ask them for a copy of your time sheet or you need to calculate your hours in a workplace right but the whole reason why that's happening is because they they know who you're trying to protect they know who you're trying to financially keep afloat like you're trying to keep someone financially afloat that this person doesn't really need the help to stay financially afloat or you may not need the help to stay financially afloat if that makes any sense like i mean you are financially afloat but they i also get greedy you can be financially afloat but something maybe somebody may deem something to be greedy about you and they don't feel the need to a pentacles with them they don't feel the need to give you more than you really need if that makes any sense i mean you can never have enough money but it could also be related to insurance from another job that you are no longer in or a business that you're no longer in but they don't want to give you the copy of that document from that business or that job that you were in or they something accumulated from that other business or that job that you were in in the past or something accumulated or built up from something that you're currently in and not telling you when I hit that note they're not telling you that they're not telling you that okay because they know that you're trying to help someone that's financially set economically sufficient or they believe you to be economically sufficient and they don't feel the need to give you an extra benefit for some reason but like it matters. I mean, it just uh, you may need a vouch for yourself. You need, you're trying to vouch for someone that is that they're already okay, or you're vouching for yourself. But they, they, they somebody deems you to be greedy financially. I don't know if you deem this person to be greedy or selfish. It just depends on what's going on. The future has the Prince of Disc. All right, Prince of Disc, the Day Trader. You know, I get manipulating. They may be manipulating the choices that a Prince of Cups energy makes with you. You know what I mean? Handing you a document, handing you identification, handing you the card. Prince of Disc in the future. The Instincts has the Two of Wands. So I was picking up fire sign energy from the beginning. Like I said, they could be an air sign female, whatever air sign female, or they're whatever they shown up there like a Sag female as well too. You know, the Aquarian Sag female, air sign female, fire sign energy. Somebody's embodying that, helping this person. Two of Wands and the instincts. You need patience to deal with them. But the patient, the two of wands with the prince of cups is what they're not giving you. Or what they're refusing to give you. Right? There is this element of court. Like you may find out, you know, you may, you may be in a situation where you need to take somebody to court as well. Like that may be important to, to say, you know, or you need the patience to deal. This is fire element as well. You need the patience to deal with a Sag and Aries and Leo elements. Because of this person, the fire sign energies that you're tied to, they have this individual like intertwined with an insurance policy. Fire signs external, they have this person intertwined with an insurance policy, or they have a queen of swords energy external intertwined with an insurance policy. Or you did that. Or you're trying to ask the fire sign if you can involve a queen of swords. Or they the, or the fire sign just help this person more. The, I favor they favor this person more, but they may also be intertwined with an insurance policy on you or through your job in a private business deal. You want to see your hours. They don't want to show you the hours because it conflicts with their benefit. They don't want to show you hours because it conflicts with their benefit or their benefits. It somebody's somebody's benefits are getting um. Some is conflicting about them because 
okay if somebody shows you hours I think in a timesheet if somebody shows you your timesheet or if you even inquire about wanting a timesheet it's going to conflict with their um it may conflict with their pay or it conflicts with benefits that they're trying to receive or benefits that fire sign energies are trying to receive or the fire sign energies have you involved with this person and I think they take everything they have you involved with this person they take everything in a business or in a workplace some type of business deal some type of workplace benefit where people people aren't giving you a timesheet like you may need to ask about a timesheet to a pentacles and things of that nature you need to ask for that you need to inquire about that because it's really important and it has a lot to do with your well-being and the well-being of this person at their external, right? So if this individual is a boss, like they could be shown up there like a boss. There's someone that you see every day. They could be a co-worker. You know what I mean? They know what's happening behind. They know what's happening behind the scenes with a Prince of Cups. So something that they're asking you for all the time. It could be to help, it could actually be to help this person or to keep benefiting this person. And that, and something there you may not see, okay? The accomplishment has the Four of Cups, is right next to the Queen of Swords. So, I guess she lied. So, the Queen of Swords energy external, she lied. That's why the Four of Cups is right next to them. She lied. Right, this individual lied about. That's why I was getting that out that energy from earlier on about um, they need money. You know what I mean? They need money. They need insurance. They need this, that, and the third. There's someone you work with. There's someone they're a friend. She lied. She's trying to help her child. She's trying to. I get lover. She's trying to help her lover external from you. Her lover could be a prince of cups. Or her lover is someone that's not shown up here. Or someone that you never met. Her friend is so She's got... This person has an external... I had a lot of guys. This person has a lot of guys attached to them. And the Prince of Cups energy could be one of those dudes. And you're interacting with this dude. I get not using intuition. You're interacting with this dude. And you're not using your intuition about this dude. That this dude is tied to your friend or a co-worker. This dude is tied to your friend, your co-worker. And you're like, why isn't this person giving me a timesheet? Why aren't they calculating my hours? Why are they hiding my pay? Why aren't they giving me my pay? Why? What is what is the deal? Two of Pentacles in the present with them and, and her. Right? This is this is a really interesting situation. Like one element about this is that you someone is invasive about this in the sense where like you have a friend who could be dating someone that that person if this is a female that's still showing up there like a friend, they're dating someone that or they <clears throat> they know someone that you may work with. But I get that feeling of that's why you keep changing jobs or that's the need into the reason into why you need to change a job. Like you could you could have been in a situation where you keep where you kept changing jobs or like you kept needing to find another job or you move jobs often or you need to change a job. Because you have a friend or you have a friend or some type of partner that they're I get tied to an ex. That person is tied to an ex and the ex could be someone that you work with or the ex is someone that you know you may you may have worked with them at an old job. It's some type of really mutual thing that you don't see that's happening somewhere in, in some environment that you're in there's a there's a heavy mutual tie that you have between a co-worker and a lover or a co-worker or a boyfriend or a girlfriend where i get a tax tie so when i ran through all of that there's a tax tie there that either you you see and you're not you, you don't care or it's there and you don't see it and you're not confronting it if that makes any sense there's a really deep invasive tie that is happening around you that you don't see like between a co-worker or ex co-worker or an ex and a new co-worker and that could be why you you keep moving jobs or you need to change a job because you're like you're asking somebody for insurance or you're asking someone about benefits from an old job you're asking someone about benefits from a new job 
and they're hesitant to give you some type of paperwork. Or they're hesitant to, I get the right documentation. Someone is hesitant into giving you the right documentation. The right documentation, placing an emphasis on the right one. So they're giving you, they may, be, they may present you with documentation that is not, you know, it's not, um, I get something about be, something being signed by a higher up. Like something's going on with something being signed by a higher up in a company. Being signed by a higher up in a company. You know how they have like, um, what do you call those things? Um, the signature to, you know, to let it, you know, let it, it know that this is, you got this from this company. Like you want, you want the legitimate mark or the legitimate signature of something that you have going on. In order to get something done and someone isn't giving you it's like you know it's like being presented with an official copy of something that's why i was getting the idea of copies from this person giving someone the official copy giving you an official copy it could be like a tax paper and things of that nature you know or the documentation for a tax paper and you there it could be official and you may you may have a little paranoia with the fact that it is or it is not for some reason maybe something there you're not really supposed to be doing and just depends on what's going on um the hermit is in the mentality so you have the sign of virgo or it's just hermit and the hermit kind of goes hand in hand with the two of wands to me as well so the hermit is like introspection wands represent your work like you have some type of introspection with your job you got introspection with um i do get this idea of worries you have worries four of cups you're worried about queen of swords but you don't need to be worried about them like worrying about them will mean their invasiveness worrying about a prince of cups their invasiveness or something i mean when i look at the princess when i look at the queen of swords i get invasiveness with them that you're worried about or the potentiality of them being invasive and then the prince of cups energy like you're worried about what they're not telling you or what they're not giving you what they're not telling you and what they're not giving you but it's really something you're doing it directly with them on your own like they may not know about the queen of swords they do or they do not or you I don't tell them about them if they don't know about the queen of swords then you shouldn't tell the prince of cups energy about them or the fire sign energy external shouldn't tell should not tell you about a prince of cups if that makes any sense or you shouldn't tell the fire sign energies about a prince of cups or the prince of cups whatever it is the, the whatever it is somebody shouldn't tell somebody about someone else here you shouldn't talk about the queen of swords to them you shouldn't talk about the queen of swords to the fire sign you know the fire signs shouldn't talk to you about a queen of swords they shouldn't talk to you about a prince of cups someone could have accidentally mentioned someone in a space at some point to you or it has some i keep getting when i said that it has something to do with the insurance someone mentioning someone to you it has to do with insurance or somebody being on it whatever it is hermit and the mentality with the work environment, with the business deal, with Sage and Air Sign Female and Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups is like in your age group as well. This isn't only I'm not I'm not I try to stay clear of, of of kid energy. So I'm sticking with them being like they're like in your age group. This is the age group situation that is happening here. This is the age group. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is someone also in your age group. Prince of This is in your age group. Prince of Cups is in your age group. Okay? What's changing is the Five of Worry. It's good that this is changing. So, whereas you were balancing your money, you're like, where's my money, my checks, my tax, my, my insurance, my benefits, my time sheet, my this, that, and the third. Keep an eye on those things. Five of Pentacles is in a changing position. That's good. Oh no. My bad. <laughs> it's not changing. I mean, yeah, hopefully it's changing. <laughs> Whoops. Your spiritual self. <laughs> That's your spiritual. Wait, 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 wait. 
My bad, my bad. Hermit, <laughs> my bad. The hermit is in your spiritual self, and then the five of pentacles is in your mentality. My bad, wrong shit. All right. I mean, that might not have been an accident. You know, it's something may end up changing about that at some point, but it's in your mentality. Like you're thinking that you're gonna miss out on some type of fun. That's just a thought. You know what I mean? So. Where, wherever the Five of Pentacles, if it was in your changing position, is, I feel like if you if you look at this as a baseball field, if the Five of Pentacles was in the changing position, it's like you're safe. If it's in your mental mind, you're still safe because it's the it's the intangible. You know, that's like it, it, intangible energy. The, if it was in the tangible, it would be in your spirit. If it was in the tangible, it would be in the waiting. It would be in starting. It would be in the present. In the, if it was in the tangible or the biospheric level. But if it's in the spiritual sense, it would be in the changing. It would be in the spiritual. It would be in the mental. Right? So you got to look at the spread by what's intangible and what's not tangible. What's intangible and tangible, my bad. But it's in the mentality here with the two of wands. So um, all the pentacles energies pretty much reside with the prince of disc. They reside with the prince of disc. Right? Hmm. <sighs> The wheel of fortune is changing. <laughs> the wheel of fortune is in your changing position. So the wheel of fortune will be if the wheel of fortune is in the in the changing position, is either you are staying in a job or you're not stay or you deciding to like, either you're deciding to leave a job or you or you're going to stay in it. But the spirit is also giving me an idea of benefits from an old job. So benefits from an old job. Something's going on with the, with those. Like say I leave a job, right? As simple as that. Say I leave a job and the job had like, you know, the job probably had me set up really good where I was going to get like an education award or uh, and some type of award, some type of financial award. And I leave and I don't get it. But then somebody finds out a way to get it. It just depends on that situation. Like that could be what's happening. Something like that. Or the insurance from that. Or something, you know, some jobs have a lot of benefits. And if you abruptly leave it, then you're not going to get things. So you could be inquiring about that that belongs to someone else. Somebody is inquiring about that for you. Or you're inquiring about that for someone else. Or you may be in between jobs where both jobs have benefits, but you may not be physically present for one, or you do one online, and you're like, well, how can I combine this? You know, how can I combine these benefits? How can I combine so that my friends can get something, right? Like someone can work. Like this person that they're external, they can work. Or it's you. You can work. Five of Pentacles in the mentality with the Two of Wands. You can work. Four of Cups next to the Queen of Swords. You know? Four of Cups next to them. Like, she can work. You can work. Wheel of Fortune changing. It's like you, you're you bending yourself backwards to try to get benefits from a job that you are no longer in. Or someone is, someone may be just keeping that from you for some reason. Like there's a benefit from a job that you could be in right now, but you, you're, you, you probably aren't inquiring about the benefit or you're not, you're in the right way. You're not inquiring about the benefit in the right way, if that makes any sense, whatever that means to you. Inquiring about the benefit in the right way. Okay. Um, the resolution has the AM. Going towards the Prince of Disc with the universal energy there. <sighs> okay, Prince of Disc. You know, they they may have your documents. I feel like they could have. They may have something that you can benefit from, or they have. I, they may be able to help you fix the situation. I mean, you're going towards them. 
They can help you possibly financially, help you fix a financial matter. They are Taurus, they are Virgo, they are Capricorn man. They could also be an earth sign that's a female. It could be a female that's embodying masculine energy. You're going towards them, they can help you. I get see what you don't see. They help you see what you don't see. <laughs> like there's something that you I mean, the thing about people the thing about people where or you can help them see what they don't see. <laughs> it just depends on what's going on. But I feel like centrically, if if, if you are trying to help somebody see what they don't see, then it's this uh, I don't feel like it's, I feel like they're just trying to obtain a benefit from you if they're external. I don't feel like I, have, I don't feel like that relates to them not seeing anything. They see everything. Like they see everything. <laughs> like I don't think that's a problem for them, or I don't think that may not that may not be a problem for you. That may not be. I get one hundred. That that may not be a one hundred percent problem for you. Like that could be fifty percent for you. We don't see something. Like I'm looking at this right here with your with the element and it's like it's half water and it's half dry. So I do get that 50-50 with them or 50-50 with you in terms of seeing something. In terms of seeing something. That's why I like these cards because I can see all the the designs really help you get a good idea of what the hell is going on. <laughs> Like the artistry of the card. You know? Look, if I look at the Five of Pentacles with the worry card, it could be like insurance, like health benefits. You may be worried about that. There's somebody's at the doctor's office looking at their lungs. I mean, that literally may be something that you're doing. <laughs> like, I don't know if you smoke or somebody smokes a lot and, and something's going on there. Going to the doctor to look at lungs. Going to get like a... um. Um, I mean, pap smear. I'm getting an idea of a pap smear. Somebody may need a pap smear. Or there's like, what do you call it? What's the situation going on here? Lungs, smoking. What do you call that exam that men get? Colonoscopies and checking the um, uh, prostate and things of that nature. Getting all those physicals done. Needing the money to get the physicals done or treatment. That may be something that you need to do. You need to do that. Like for these first two weeks of the month. But something's going on with the insurance to get that to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. For some reason, something is going on. Something is going on with I mean, you may not necessarily have problems with your insurance, but it's like you you I get this feeling of a good doctor. Like you may need a good doctor. You may not have, I mean, your doctor may be good. I'm not saying your doctor's not good, but you may need a good doctor. Sometimes good doctors are expensive. You know what I mean? Sometimes good doctors are expensive. You may have a shitty doctor. I mean, I'm not saying you have a shitty doctor, but you may have a doctor that's not really critical of you. And something may be going on there as well. Health-wise, you know, health-wise. With you or someone else. With you or this person external, and you need to go with them. And I don't have insurance. You need to go with someone that they don't have insurance for some reason. Someone doesn't have insurance. Like, they may not have insurance. Or someone's wrong with their insurance. And that's why something is happening here. Okay? Something's going on with your, something may be going on with your insurance, or you need to get it redone, or you need to apply for it again, and you need to, and some, you need somebody to take you, or you need to use somebody's thing, you need to use that in third to fix it. Okay, all right, all righty. So let's look for our outcome here for you, Aquarius. You do have success here with the Six of Pentacles. So you, I do get that you may be getting some type of money back. <laughs> you may be getting some. That's why the, the Prince of this is in the future. They could be you know, I get responsible for payment. They're responsible for distributing payments to you. And you may be getting a payment back. After you find out what's going on. 
if, if anything is going on, you know, you may get a payment back to you. Right? You may get a payment back. You know what I mean? You may get a payment back. It's a, the spirit emphasized payment back because somebody took it or they took the benefit paperwork or they took the insurance paperwork or they didn't come as long with calculating hours properly or not calculating hours properly or pay properly, possibly. Five of Pentacles in the mentality with the Two of Wands. Somebody may not have calculated some, or you may be thinking somebody is not calculating pay properly, something like that. All right, but it's, this isn't the outcome. So you, whatever it is that's happening here, insurance, benefit, from old job, new job, helping someone out, paperwork, somebody not taking the paperwork, or there's like, you know, uh, insurance, it's something to be fraudulent there, it is or it is not. Then you have situations here where somebody, you know, they're not calculating hours on purpose. And then you have situations with people being connected to new people in your job. They're taking the benefits. You, don't, you have no idea if the benefits exist. <laughs> And this depends on what's going on. But whatever it is that's going on here, you're going to get it back at the end of the day. That's the outcome. All right, cool. All right, Aquarius, let me know how it resonates with you. Be well. Take care. Bye.